Alright, so today is a very good day. Twice released their MV for Knock Knock and it's just spectacular. Loving the song and the camera work. But what we're gonna talk about today is the theory behind this music video. Where, you know, where the music video takes place and other things that happen in it. Since it's lame too, you know, you know, there's gotta be a continue, there's a continuation to it. I saw many people in the comment section of Knock Knock saying that it takes place before TT, and yeah, it's correct, but partially correct. I think it takes place before and after TT. So, you know, let's get started so I can explain what craziness I am saying. Okay, so, you know, in the beginning, the music video is going by normally and twice, you know, they're having fun at a slumber party until someone knocks. You know, when they open the door, it's just, it's just kind of like a um, middle-aged man a little bit older, holding a keyboard, and you know, they look in disappointment and they close the door. They go back to doing their normal thing and the door once again is knocked. And they open it, but this time no one's there. They're looking around and again in disappointment, but they only find a book that says the Twice Coaster. They go and open the book and take a look at it, showing a mermaid, a bunny, Pinocchio, and an ice princess. And as they look out the window, it starts snowing, and then the book slowly turns and it shows Tinkerbell. They go outside to see the snow, you know, like, oh, it's snow, you know, let's go play. I don't know if Sana did this on purpose or if it was an accident, but her misdirection made me laugh pretty hard. So they're having fun outside, playing in the snow, but the door slowly closes, and we see them running towards the door. This is where it turns around and it takes place after TT. As they're running towards the door, a clock is shown rotating really quickly. You no, know, signifying that ta the time is passing by extremely quick. And we then get a shot of the storybook with the pages turning really fast. If you guys notice, as they're running outside, the lights were on. Now, as they're running towards the door after the, clo after the door closed, the lights are off. And signifying that the house, when if they were to walk inside, the house would be the same house as in TT due to the time going by quickly and the storybook that's inside. They knock on the door several times trying to get in and we get a shot of the two kids looking at the door at the end of the music video. As in TT, you know when the music video in TT ends we get someone knocking and the two kids turn around. Same here in Knock Knock. When they're knocking on the outside, the two kids turn around and it's the same. So you know that's when it tells you it takes place on TT. So two things could have happened here. When they were reading the book, back inside of the house. As they were reading it, they could have been transported to the book's dimension. Sounds stupid, but it, it, it makes sense. Explaining that when they went outside, they were pretty much in the middle of nowhere. And there were no houses like we saw when they opened the house, they, when they opened the door for the keyboard guy. You know, in the background, you could see houses. Not the case here. After they read the book, they go outside. They're in the middle of nowhere. There's pine trees everywhere. There's snow. It's like deserted, only just snow. The second thing is, as time was passing by quickly, the book transformed the house and everything inside of it, bringing the story of the book into their world, explaining why the kids are inside the house. As they're running towards the door and time is passing by really quickly and the book pages are turning extremely fast, that could be the part where the story of the book is brought into their world, like I said, explaining why the kids are inside of the house and everything inside the house only changes. But again, this is all just a theory. I, <laughs> I never thought a K-pop video would have like some sort of lore in it, you know, like a story. Like, like a continuous story, you know, we have lane one, now we have lane two, which makes it awesome. But yeah, that's what I think. So I hope this helped, you know, bring a little bit more of an explanation to TT and Knock Knock. There's probably some little things that I missed, but I doubt it. I look, re looked at the two music videos over and over, and I don't think I missed anything. If I did, make sure to leave something in the comment section below. What do you guys think? So that's gonna be it, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little explanation theory video on Knock Knock and TT. So, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Have a good day, and goodbye.